Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Sprocket. Today I'm on a brand new install of Windows. I'm on Windows 11 now, uh, as opposed to Windows 10, so a few sound settings may be slightly different. Hopefully things are all uh, just as they were before. Um, <laughs> I've had a whole host of technical issues today, but it's fine. They seem to be all resolved now. And today we're going to be building a French medium tank with kind of realistic technology so uh we're going to be using the kind of Samur s35 as our inspiration here um and kind of keeping things cast where we can uh, and you know small turrets with with kind of small cannons but big chunks of cast armor you know um that, that kind of a vibe of like the shah uh b1 uh, Samura S35 shard D1 to a lesser extent because that was welded rather than cast but um, yeah you can see me here uh, getting a general hull form down um, and this hull I essentially started by making just a shape that just worked for the, the general outline of the tank if you looked at it from a side profile and then extended those sides out and shrunk the bits that I extended down with smoothing on, so it looked like there was kind of a curve in the armor. I might do, uh, if I can get more confident at casting, I might do a proper video on, on that process, but I'm still not great at it, so I'm, I'm gonna need some time to kind of get more confident with that before I'm, I'm confident enough to say like here's how you do it uh, at the moment i feel like i'd be saying here's how you do it and then people in the comments would be like that's not how you do it um <laughs> so i don't want to give you bad advice um i, I want to give you good advice you know we we, we, we want to see cool tanks uh, and we do see cool tanks a lot in my dis discord server that you can join in the description nice plug um here's something what I did. Um, so here you can see me trying to extend the side of the hull out to uh, make a little thing that covers the tracks. Uh, I made a massive, massive mistake here and forgot to turn mirror on for like ages. And so I ended up doing a bunch of work on the side of it and then uh, it, it wasn't mirrored and I couldn't undo far enough to get back. And my save, I'd saved with a bit of that side extended. So I couldn't get it back at all. Uh, and I, I had to give up and uh, it was just gonna take so long to get all the parts to be mirrored again. I actually just made the uh, like these side skirt things out of separate compartments. So technically they're turrets with their constraints set to zero. Now, um, I may run you through how to do that one day, but uh, that was not a situation where I had to do that. I shouldn't have had to do that. I probably shouldn't have done that, <laughs> but I did it nonetheless. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the hull form done, at least. And uh, now we are on to the turret. Um, and the turret, I, I really wanted to kind of go for a, a two-man version uh, of like what the Asimur S35 had, so it's a little bit bigger, I think, um, and instead of the 47mm cannon, which I think was fairly standard, uh, we are using a 57mm cannon, and I start with this little mantlet here, I do eventually swap off this because it doesn't feel very French, um, but I also kind of cut into the turret to like make a gap where the mantlet sits um which feels a bit weird but i think it's kind of cool to be honest um it, it gives the tank a bit of character um because uh, it did feel a little bit generic to be honest um and, and you know generic can be a good thing uh but i i you know i i just i wanted to I wanted to do something a little bit different with it, and that, that was my little bit of different, I guess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm. Uh, this is pretty much the finished thing now, just, you know, putting armor on and uh, setting up the uh, engine and, and crew settings to be correct. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be going back to gameplay soon, but before we go back to the proper gameplay, let me just talk to you about transmission types. I just thought I'd include this little bit, uh, because I have had the question a few times when I've been making these videos, like, why do you always use clutch braking? Like, why is it why is it always clutch braking? Uh, and, and this, I just think, is one of the most effective demonstrations of why it's always clutch braking. So, here is my tank with clutch braking. Pretty good turning circle. Very, very quick. That's quite good. Now, if I go to clutch braking, Sorry, uh, twin transmission rather than clutch braking. And then I just do the same thing. Just hold A. That is now my turning circle. So, 
That's why clutch breaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is our uh, French thing, trademark. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can't see much of it because we are on silent border, but uh, we have a 57 millimeter cannon with about 90 millimeters of penetration. Not a particularly good amount of penetration, uh, but we are fairly mobile for what we are, uh, as well as having quite a fair whack of armor ourselves to be honest and that's from quite a few angles the side obviously can be penetrated but if you're at an angle like this a lot of this side armor is pretty thick and if you're facing that front of the turret you know that's that's a fair amount obviously this front face isn't hugely powerful it's only about 77 millimeters of effective but it's not too bad uh for the for the weight class of the vehicle being just over like 20 tons so yeah, I, I mean, I think we should do okay. Um, I don't, I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with this tank. Uh, that is, ow. Okay, that anti tank gun decided to shoot me. Our side armor has worked wonders there. That's very convenient. Uh, <laughs> now, where are the other ones? There's one that I thought I could see him, and I doubted myself because I was like, I've seen that way too easily. I never do that well. Uh, we're getting shot by the Allen but I'm kind of more worried about the anti-tank gun, to be honest. Maybe I shouldn't be. Uh, it's not shooting back at the moment. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, and, and my allies got it. Great. Um, well, we might be able to do something here. I think the allen has gone and hidden behind their little hill that they tend to hide behind. Um, if you're wondering, there are a few... The, the physics of this thing are a bit weird because I clipped in some trench trails into the track so that it could actually, like get over rough terrain because sometimes this suspension setting just really screws over your off-road performance but yeah it does mean that occasionally we just do some weird bouncing <laughs> anyway uh the allen yeah they're, they're not not really done a good job uh <laughs> preventing themselves from getting flanked there okay we're on railroads now uh there are six enemies there's still only three of us um now this level could be a little bit more difficult because we're going to be kind of flanked, I'd imagine, here quite a lot more. Um, but uh, the enemies at least probably have less penetration. Uh, maybe not the Mana Wars. I think they're quite tough and we are really... Bad. I might have to take those trench trails out. I thought they were going to help, but uh, they may end up being a really bad... <laughs> <laughs> a really bad thing. They, they weren't so bad when I was testing them, but uh, now they're not doing great. That's the Man of War, annoyingly. Um, going to be really hard to go through the front of that. I don't know if we can, to be honest. I think it's got about 100 mil of armor, uh, and even with our AP at point blank, we only have 90 mil of uh, AP. So we'll just uh, we'll just try and get around them if we can. We've lost an ally, annoyingly. Um, not, not a great start to the level, I, I will admit. But uh, those are going to be some kind of lighter enemy. Uh, so I'm going to load the APKHE, hoping that we can actually go through the front of them. Um, and, oh. Oh, those aren't lighter at all. Those are a lot heavier. Um, that's odd. I don't think I've ever fought these enemies on this level before. Um, okay, not what I expected here, I will be honest. <laughs> But uh, hopefully not too much of a problem. Are these the Heliots? Oh, wow. Um, that's uh, scary. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. That's not good, to be honest. We've... Oh, dear. Lost our own engine in the process, but we've taken out theirs. Um, I am trying to put out... The fight right. Okay. It is the Heliot. I thought that was late war. Um it definitely feels come on, Rock. <laughs> it definitely feels late war. Um what is that? 240 millimeters of front alarm. That's a little bit scary, to be honest. Um I might have to upgrade the gun, which I was hoping to not have to do for a little while. Because I was like, oh, this tank's got good mobility and good armor. I'll give it a weaker gun. Um, that may be coming back to bite me here. Interesting. <laughs> Hello. Um, can I... Where's my gun depression gone? <laughs> Our gun depression is meant to be about 10 degrees, I thought. There's one over there. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, we've gone through the side. Um, oh, and there's a man of war. And also, just one shot through the side. Well, we're doing pretty well <laughs> against the side of these enemies. Um, more of that, please. Now, uh, where are they, though, is the question. <laughs> is that alive? It was, yeah. Okay, there goes another one. Two left. Uh... Is that one alive? Oh, goodness me. It's it's hard to know. Um, <laughs> it's hard to know who's alive and who isn't at this point in time. I don't think they are. Oh, you're alive, though. Oh, goodness me. Uh, there we go. That's worked. Um, now, enemy, enemy. It's good. I think it's the other man of war. And I feel like they're going to be... I think I see him, actually. That's them there. We did it! Ah, oh, okay. Um, that's fortunate. I, I need to remove these trench trails. I thought they were going to help. They're not helping at all. <laughs> and uh, maybe also need to look into why the gun depression is so bad. But yeah, okay. We'd, that's gone well-ish. I don't think we're going to do very well here. Uh, I've not really upped the armor at all. Uh, we have a 75mm gun. Our mobility is still pretty good. Uh, but versus that King Tiger, I just don't think there's any way we're ever going to win. <laughs> okay, I've given us a 200% uh, weight limitation. So we have uh, five tanks as opposed to the two from before. Um, and I think we're still going to lose horrendously. Um, this King Tiger reloads so quickly. Um, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous how fast that thing fires. Um, oh, we're quite lucky there. It's missed. Um, are we going to get lucky twice and be able to get behind it before it can turn that turret? I think we want to go close to it, but not so close that it gets an easy shot. Oh, I got an easy shot. Uh, <laughs> and we're... Yeah. Okay, not in a great spot, to be honest. Um, we'll try. We'll do our best. Um, I don't think it's going to work, though. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, we have we have got this 75, which is better, but it's not going to go through the front of a King Tiger. Uh, so far, their marksmanship has been poor. Um, so we're just going to go for it um, and just run as fast as our little legs can carry us here. Uh, oh, my gosh, it missed. Um... <laughs> We've got behind. That's a good start, which I didn't really expect. Um, okay. And now it's just a matter of sneaking around and and doing that. Oh, well, that... We, we did it! Huh! Okay, here we are on fields. We have five tanks, which isn't many still. Uh, we're going to have to go up against the light tanks, of which there's going to be, like, seven. And then there's going to be, like, seven heavies as well. Um, <laughs> we could have a tough time here, uh, given we have essentially the 75 from the early Shermans. <laughs> In terms of firepower, it, it's not great, to be honest. It's, I want to say, 126 millimeters of penetration, which is technically enough. Um... But, yeah, but barely enough it is probably a better way of phrasing it. So we definitely lack in firepower. Mobility is okay. We're not too bad. Armor is also okay. Uh, however, I'm not going to be able to rely on my armor fighting tigers uh, or panthers or, for that matter, tog twos. So <laughs> whatever they spawn for their heavy tank is going to be able to really beat me up quite badly. <laughs> There's our light tanks for today. Good evening, fellows. Now, those are the quite well-armoured uh, ones. Of all of them, those have the most armour. Um, however, 
yeah, as you can see, still not exactly well protected. Uh, we should be able to deal with them, no problem. Oh, and they've got the Tog 2s. Uh, immediately, I'm just gonna ignore everything else and try and get in this ravine, because this is the place that saved us <laughs> in the last video, uh, and I'm sure has saved us other times and will save us in the future. Um, generally, I like this ravine. Uh, <laughs> That's a lot of 17-pounder shells flying past my tank, but we've made it. And now we've just got to see if we can pull the same kind of tricks we pulled last video to uh, to win this engagement, which, uh, well, the odds are not hugely in our favor, should we say. Let's see if we can poke over here and just shoot this single tog. Um, oh, we did go through. I'm not sure... If we're still aiming at it, it's it's there. Um, we've hit a lot of armor there. Yeah, okay. I, I feel like going for the front of that thing is just not a reliable way. We can get through, but it's just not reliable enough. Um, there's that one in the distance. If I aimed better, I think we might be okay. Uh... There we go. Okay, good. Uh, our reverse gears are a bit of a problem, actually. <laughs> it's it's quite hard to actually get this thing to go in reverse. I think my first gear needs to be a, a little bit more aggressive. That one is charging me really, <laughs> really aggressively, and it's intimidating. Uh, so I am a little bit spooked at this moment in time, but I... Uh, well, I don't have a choice. <laughs> We're going to have to gonna have to face him head on uh, any moment now hello oh no uh, uh oh uh, I don't think it can hit me yep that's uh, that's worked <laughs> oh my that was a little bit nerve-wracking um, right there's one over in the distance there who is stopping us from getting a shot on that one there the other two, not a clue. I have no idea. <laughs> they could be anywhere. Oh, no. Okay, so now we're in a new spot. We can try and ping a shot off on him. Uh, that worked. Wow, okay. Uh, that was easier than I expected that to be. Uh, I think I do. I don't know, that's just a rock. Okay, never mind. Um, there is that one down there somewhere, which I'm not seeing at the moment. And then there's two which are completely unaccounted for, so I could just drive into them any moment now. <laughs> uh, there's the one that we were shooting at earlier. Can't really see it in my gun sight, but it is just down in there. Um, I might be able to sneak a shot over here. A little bit low little bit higher and then back in back of the turret yeah there we go okay and now there's the two and we have no idea where they are <laughs> oh there's one. Oh my uh wow okay we drove right past that uh that could have been unfortunate had i uh gone a little bit closer and uh not noticed there we go okay just one more and i'm thinking i mean i've been all the way to that end of the map and there's no way they could have gone on that side because it's all a hill so it's got to be this way <laughs> oh oh my gosh <laughs> just stumbling into them at really close range uh let's just do a little bit of a ah, there we go <laughs> uh right well um it's done surprisingly well, uh, but I don't think it's going to do surprisingly well in the late war scenarios. So this is where I'm going to leave this design for now. We may come back to this one in the future and give it like a big ridiculous tank destroyer turret uh, and turn it into something completely different. But uh, for this video in particular, I think I don't really want to develop this much further because the idea behind this one is like a realistic French tank. And uh, realistically, France at this point in the war, uh, well, yeah, they, they didn't exist. Um, so... <laughs> They they wouldn't they wouldn't have had uh, the equipment to to go and put like an eighty millimeter gun on this thing and and turn it into a super tank. They would just use these uh, up until you know the point where they 
ran out of fuel or broke down and they never repaired them. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is this is basically a tank that feels very outdated in these scenarios, and that feels fitting. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm kind of content with this one, to be honest. And the fact that we've managed to win so easily is a bit of a miracle and oh wow now you decide to move he's been sat still this entire battle and now that the match is over he decides to there you go uh right that deals with that problem but anyway yeah <laughs> if you enjoyed this one please leave a like leave a comment and or subscribe to the channel uh, and hopefully i will see you in the future yeah, right. And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons, Last Legend 11, Cody N, Nicholas K, Just a Casual T62 M1, Gunmaster 929, Zite Wolverine, Rivera, Tree Loving Mango, Cam Jam 135, Sad Cat, DJ Pete, Yoki 003, Caligo Drake, and Rule Stalls Bokken. Ooh, that's a mouthful now. Thank you so much.